You know, I, I think it's not too far out before we have some type of golf ball that has a webcam built into it so that I, as the average golfer, you know, immediately get this interactive view as my ball flies down the course. And I can immediately share it with my friends and it immediately becomes a part of the game and immediately becomes a part of my historical record. Who are we to sit back and think that the technology and the interactivity that is going to be a part of the game will look anything like it does today? Particularly as this next generation gets involved and gets immersed and increasingly begins to shape the direction of the future. Do you know what happens as soon as I put a scenario up like this? The same thing that happens when I put a scenario up like this in front of a lot of my clients. So a whole bunch of us sit out in the room and we react. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. That's the dumbest idea I ever heard. Who invited this guy here? Who thought it would be a good idea to put such wild scenarios on the table in front of folks who are involved with a traditional game? I want you to think about this. I want you to you know, think about the future by looking a little bit to the past. Some of you might remember when the golf cart first appeared on scene, it was viewed as something that was going to ruin the game. You know, way back in 1997, the Christian Science Monitor, you know, you can read articles that purists, you know, are decrying the most noticeable post-war technological change in golf. The hordes of tech golf carts that are humming over courses. It's ruining the game. The former United States Golf Association president observed that, you know, if it keeps up, we should call the game cart ball. Go back to the days in which GPS first appeared in the scene. And how many complaints were there? that this was a form of cheating. This is something that wasn't right for the game. This is something we should not be thinking about. But look what happened with the golfer. Look at, look at the speed and velocity by which the golfer embraced the concept and made it a part of their game and made it a part of their everyday life and made it part of their everyday quest, you know, to get a few more yards and get a little bit more accuracy. Think how quickly it came to change the game. You know, the thing is, the future is going to come at you faster than you think. And your challenge in defining our future, our PGA, is what do you need to change to deal with the rate of change which is occurring?